Luxalon Alu Power might be the single greatest polyester string of all time. It's certainly the most decorated, with some version of Alu Power winning 61% of the last 80 men's single slams, going back 20 years to 2004. Okay, sure, most of that is Federer and Djokovic, but still, Three of the four best players of the last 20 years used some form of Alu Power. But despite all these wins, the winds of change blow and Alu Power is losing its popularity. Today, during the week of February 26, 2024, only one member of the top 10 uses some kind of Alu and only four members in the top 20. What about 10 years ago? Well, it was six times more popular in the top 10 with six members of the ATP's best 10 players using some kind of Alu Power. So what gives? Well, the playability duration simply sucks. Let's take a look here at Tennis Warehouse's string performance database. When I sort this by tension loss percentage from best to worst, you have to scroll almost all the way down to the bottom to find Alu Power. It's closer to being the worst string for tension loss than it is to being the best string. And when you consider that Alu Power costs 20 US dollars per set, when the second best performing string for tension loss, Torna Silver 7 Tour only costs $10 a set, it's really easy to see why Alu Power is losing its popularity. In fact, this value proposition seems so bad, bordering on pure thievery, that you might be wondering what kind of idiot would pay actual money for Alu Power. Well, that idiot is me. As per usual, to make this video, I had to see what Alu Power was all about. All right, so this is actually like the first time I've actually hit with ALU Power Silver, Tension 4946. I hit with other colors, but apparently, according to this guy on Talk Tennis, Silver is the only true ALU Power. So 31 fresh off the machine. There is one single area where ALU Power just cannot be beat. This alu does feel pretty good. And that's feel. The spin sucks, the tension maintenance sucks, the comfort also kind of sucks, but the feel is pretty damn good. The ball pocketing sensation begins with this mothering caress, welcoming that ball deep into the string bed before just completely rejecting that ball like an abusive stepfather with an alcohol problem. It throws that ball out of the string bed with such vigorous force you're left with this insane two-faced sensation. It feels like you held that ball on your strings for a year. There is so much pocketing, but it also feels like the ball shoots out of the string bed with the velocity of a Runa coaching change. Never before have I encountered a feel with such an intense dichotomy. The combination of ball pocketing and crispness is just loin watering. This leads to a commanding sense of great power controlled through an equally great sense of responsibility. But sadly, the feel is fleeting. Over the course of 45 minutes, I could feel this string dying. It lost its zip, it lost its control, it lost the modicum of spin potential that it had, and it left me feeling empty. So you've been feeling a little out of sync. Yeah, Doc, I mean, ever since I hit with Alu Power, it's like everything is, nothing feels the same anymore. It's all so plasticky, it's, it's so muted and, Honestly, I can't feel my balls anymore. I understand. It can't be easy having to spend $20 every time you want to play tennis. Those strings, they don't last longer than one hit. You got it just right, Doc. Like, do you think there's anything you can do to help me? You know what? There might just be the right drug made by the fine folks over at Restring. I think it could help you. Well, that sounds great, but are there any side effects? Well, it won't give you the same high as ALU Power, but it'll help even you out. And the playability duration lasts at least twice as long. Thanks, Doc. I, 
Uh, I was worried about coming to therapy, but it, it seems like it's really working out. That sounds so great. I'm, I am worried it's a little expensive. Uh, did you get my health insurance information? Do you think it'll cover it? Well, don't worry, son, because Restring is only $14 a set. And if you act fast, you can get it for 10% off, limited to up to 100 sets. So you better move fast. OMG. Thanks, Doc, and thank you, Restring. I'll definitely be clicking the affiliate link in the description below to save myself a little bit of money, support 10 come, and save myself from the self-destructive ALU power addiction. I mean, how does that make you feel? So before you ask, Restring Sync just does not feel quite as good as Alu Power. Yes, it does have the same combination of ball pocketing and crispness, but it's just less exaggerated. It's less intense. Like if Alu is a 10 out of 10 for feel, I'd say Sync is like an eight. It gets you 80% of the way there without quite taking you all the way. But honestly, if you're not hitting them back to back, the differences are a lot less noticeable and you still really do feel connected on court with sync. For example, the feel is still strong enough to like wake up the very muted Pure Aero 98, especially when you drop down to the thinner 18 gauge like we did for Simon's Racket. But here's where sync starts to destroy Alley Power. So it's now been nine days since I've had Restring Sync in my racket. I've hit like four times with it and we're at 28. So three dynamic tension points drop in over a week. So first the tension maintenance is just way better. You can't even really compare them. So it's now been two days and about 45 minutes of hitting with LU power and it has dropped down to 27 DT. After only nine days in my whiteout and roughly three hours of solid hitting over that time, Sync lost less tension than Alu did in two days and 45 minutes of hitting. You also don't have this dying sensation that you have with Alu. The weird thing that happens on court with Alu is you feel it dying, but it's not like you feel the tension leaking out. It feels like it's losing its playability. It's losing its resilience, its ability to return energy to the ball, which means that it also loses is like all its ability to provide top spin. Sync just doesn't do any of that. It plays pretty steadily throughout its life and a big part of that is due to its chemical makeup. The restring team tells me the formula isn't actually that different from zero. This means that we get the same tremendous tension maintenance, we get the same super slick coating that we had with zero, but this time it's in a round package for much better control. Compared to other uncoated polys like Turner Silver 7 Tour, another string that just has S tier tension maintenance, the notch resistance is far superior. These two photos were taken after roughly three hours of use each, and you can see that Sync has significantly less notching than this hybrid of Silver 7 Tour and Wasabi X and the Crosses. Those Zero and Sync do share a similar base formula. The strong durability is where the similarities between Restring's offerings end. <laughs> So it's been pretty well documented that Zero's greatest weaknesses are control and feel, but ironically, those are Sync's greatest strengths. Like any round string, I never felt any inconsistency with the string's launch angle. And just like any round string, that launch angle is a little bit lower than I prefer, with a little bit less ball bite than I really want, but that's just gonna be a natural limitation you get from any round string. Still, the feedback that you get from the string is more than enough to help you diagnose any mishits on courts to help you improve on the fly. And the directional control gave me all the confidence I needed to go for whatever shot I wanted at any given time. And yeah, the directional control is not going to be as strong as something you get from like Grapple Snake Paradox Pro or RPM Power, but still the feel is very connected and keeps me a lot more dialed in than strings like Polytour Pro, Hyper G, or Babbled RPM Blast. I also think that we can effectively rate this string's control as greater than Alu Power. Sure, Alu does win by like 10 to 20% in the first 30, 45 minutes, but from then onwards, it's sync 
all day, every day by a huge margin. Spin is certainly the string's weakest aspect. It's not like zero where you automatically get this buff in your RPMs, but it does give you a little more than your typical round string. It's definitely better than Alu Power, but I also think it beats out some other round strings I enjoy, like Polytour Pro, Hawk Power, or Signum Pro Firestorm. And a big part of that is going to be due to the snapback, which again is going to be part of that lubrication infused string. Because of this, I think Sync might actually be the new meta for cross strings. Grapple Snake Tour Sniper, Turn of Silver 7 Tour, Slinko Tour Bite, I think those would all be great choices for a main string with sync, but I personally have been experimenting with rough strings in my main, and I've been absolutely loving Tour Bite Diamond Rough 16 with sync 18 in my CX200. So who should try sync? I think pretty much anyone using a round poly should really heavily consider trying sync in your next string job, unless you know you have comfort issues and you're using something super soft like ISO Speed Cream, Polytour Air, Full Beta Tier 1 Ghost Wire, that kind of setup. Otherwise, and know that I do understand my biases when I make this statement, but for me, this is the number one best round polyester string in the world right now. No, and I understand it does not beat the king of feel at its own game, but it's just so much more well-rounded because it lasts longer, it costs less, and it offers more spin than what you would get with Alu Power. This has just been my absolute favorite string release since Grapple Snake Tour M8. And for me personally, it lands in my top three favorite strings of all time. I've tried both 17 and 18 gauges of sync in a few different rackets, the new CX200s, my whiteouts, and the Pure Aero 98, and it's played great in all of them. There's a pre-sale of 100 units live right now, so act fast, but there will also be a general release on March 17th. If you like well-rounded, connected strings that prioritize predictability and durability, I think Restring Sync is an absolute must try. Alu Power is dead. Long live Restring Sync. That was so stupid.